everyone, this is Abhinand from CG Artist Academy and I'm back with a new tutorial. Now, today, I'm going to show you how to inflate a sphere or whatever geometry you want to inflate in the shape of another object. So, today, we're going to create this. Yeah, so, I'll, I'll show you the process and the basic setup, how you can create that uh, kind of effect. Okay, and uh, let's jump into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a geometry and inside them we're going to inflate the sphere or whatever geometry you want to inflate so that it can cover the volume to so it so that it can take the shape of the geometry okay so let's jump into Houdini and first of first of all we're going to create a geo node just geometry and we'll rename it, rename it to inflate okay so let's get into it and next we're gonna create is uh, let's say take a big geometry yeah this one which is inbuilt in Houdini okay so uh, next so this is my base geometry and inside it we're gonna inflate few spheres okay and it completely depend on you uh, whatever the geometry you want to inflate okay so next we're gonna create the next geometry which will this which will be the source of our spheres so let's go into the wireframe node and let's uh, press w in your keyboard so that we can see the wireframe okay yeah it's looking good Next, we need to create, uh, let's create sphere, okay, and this is my sphere, and let's try, uh, template this big head so that we can see how big I want my sphere should, could be. So let's add a translate node here, okay, with this translate node, we're going to transform it. Like 0.5 and it should be polygon okay so in this let's translate inside it and let's sorry in z minus z let's yeah like here and scale a bit more point four, I guess okay and let's do this okay so that's looking cool so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a, another node so next we're gonna create a scatter node let's create it connect it and let's see okay so now the points are generated over the geometry okay let's disable this template option and scatter points we need only 15 points okay and now we need to create a another geometry which is sphere which will be instance on these points so yeah Spare and let's try template this scatter make it polygon and scale would be around 0 0.1 0 0.15 okay. and frequency should be around 15 create a remesh node okay and make the value of 0 0.05 yeah this is fine and iteration around it let's create another node which is copy two points so let's connect scatter to this and remesh to this one as you can see now my sphere is instance on these points 
so I think we need to scale down the sphere size a bit maybe around 0 0.13 yeah let's see it's it should not penetrate with the geometry of in which we gonna inflate this so I don't think so it's getting yeah for sure it's not so let's move to the nest so now we're gonna create a vellum setup so let's create a vellum balloon yeah. okay connect this to this and just take your pick head and connect to the sorry connect to the collision geometry next let's create vellum solver vellum solver okay and let's connect this okay in vellum solver go to the forces and just remove the gravity okay and next we're gonna do is go to your vellum cloth and change a few settings first let's change the thickness it should be 0 0.0005 okay next uh, stiffness should be 6 only let's leave the rest of the parameters as it is and go to the pressure and here it should be 6 million stitch stiffness okay and enable this output group and it should be a p stretch pressure stretch okay and that's it let's dive into vellum solver and here sorry here we're gonna create a we're gonna create a vellum constraint vellum constraint property okay and here just enable this group and select your sorry connect connect this and now select your p stretch which we have created and enable the enable rest strength scale which we're gonna animate so disable your simulation by clicking here okay and let's key it by right click and set keyframe and the simulation should be around 100 frames for now so on the 80th of frame uh, okay place the value of around 80 or maybe 85 okay that's it go to your first frame let's go back and go to your vellum server and let's simulate so another simulation is done and you can see the spheres are inflating but at the certain point they are like we are getting this artifacts or it's not getting the shape exactly so what we need to do is we need to change sub steps in vellum solver so go to solver and so uh, sub steps should be around 8 and here should be around 10 and let's simulate again so my simulation is done and now you can see these phase are inflating and taking the shape of the geometry but but the trick is you need to like uh, experiment with the values okay so you need to change the sub steps like earlier it was like 8 or 10 in here so what i did now is sub steps to 20 and constraint iteration to 100 okay all you need is whatever the geometry you are trying on you need to just experiment okay so this is the basic setup of it okay 
so this way you can actually inflate any object to take the shape of the geometry like I did with uh, my example is here what I did is so what I did I created these spheres and inflate those in this shoe shape so let me show you the final result so this is my final result and you can see it's taking the shape these are the spheres and they are taking the shape of the shoe so let me show you the setup which I used okay the same thing this is my base model this is the sphere on which I have created the scatter, scatter points and on that I instance these spheres okay after that I copy to the points same vellum cloth pressure and uh, vellum solver then what I extra what I did is I exported this geometry as a alembic file okay then I imported all these into this Maya okay so that's how I created this effect to inflate spheres or any geometry to take the shape of the object okay so this is the rendered result which I got from this setup so that's how you can achieve this so I hope you like this tutorial and learn the things about uh, Houdini Vellum and if you like it please hit the like button and subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends and colleagues and I must say there is a channel called Antagma I am learning so much from this channel you guys should go and check that, that, that channel they are teaching so well okay so I hope you like this tutorial and we'll see you next time thanks